I, I was struggling for an idea for a video today, kind of keeping with the whole uploading every day thing. And I figured if I don't have anything else to talk about what went on during the day, why not talk about two of my most prized possessions in the world? These are both Nags guitars. If you're not familiar with Nags, Nags was started by Joe Nags and Peter Wolf in 2009. Prior to that, for 25 years, Joe was the director of R&D and private stock for Paul Reed Smith. And he designed the Mira for Paul Reed Smith, which is an amazing instrument. Peter Wolf was a director of sales and marketing at Paul Reed Smith and has been in the music industry for over 35 years. Together, these guys have come up with some unbelievable designs and incredible instruments, not to mention incredible customer service, and they're just two of the coolest dudes I've ever met. So on my right is the Chenna T1. And the Chenna T1 is a semi-hollow, 24.75 scale length neck, 22 frets, mahogany neck, ebony fingerboard. The top of the guitar is curly maple, which you can see the flame in this thing is just ridiculous. I'm looking at it in the monitor, but this thing is incredible. And it comes with Fralin Pure PAF pickups. Three-way toggle, all that kind of stuff you would find in a... They're coming for me. I can do anything on this guitar that I want. Jazz, rock, blues, funk, anything. Um, but my favorite thing about this guitar, one of my favorite things about this guitar, apart from its tone, which is outstanding, is its light. With like Les Pauls and, and other even semi-hollow guitars, they're heavy and carrying them all night long just puts a strain on my neck and my back, especially with the four hour plus gigs that we have to play. I can carry this thing all night long and just not even have to worry about it. Um, and this was the first guitar I got from Nags. This is serial number 79. And I, I was introduced to Nags at the NAMM show in Nashville and I think 2011. Peter, if you're watching this and it was another year other than that, either you can comment down here or just, just let me have it. Just let me slide. They had a booth at the NAMM show. I played one and immediately fell in love with it. This guitar, and I, I say this with, with a lot of weight, is the first instrument that ever immediately felt at home in my hands. And I think for a lot of guitarists, that's a big deal because when you get something new, you have to get used to it. And this guitar immediately spoke to me. I had been looking for a semi-hollow that I really, really loved. This, is, this was it. Um, so I got one and uh, kind of the rest is history. And the next one is the Kanai in California Sunset. It's the same scale length, same number of frets, Mahogany on the back of the neck, but this is a rosewood fingerboard instead of ebony, which I just kind of preferred on this guitar. Back of the neck is mahogany, also curly maple on the top. These pickups are made by David Allen. They are P51 Mustangs. Little bit of a different tonal characteristic than the Fralin PAFs. Uh, this guitar is a little bit heavier, but not like a Les Paul. I mean, a Les Paul, if you hold a Les Paul all night long, you're walking like this at the end of the night. This guitar I can still hold for you know, three, four hours and not sweat it. Um, <clears throat> I tend to use this for more like funk and, and rock and roll and things like that. I mean, I can do it with the neck pickup. It's really beefy, so I can do a lot of like jazz-ish stuff, kind of things like that, but not like the Larry Carlton stuff that you can do with that instrument. Um, overall, also an unbelievable instrument. Now, the cool, one of my favorite things about this guitar is that they built this one just for me. It is one of a kind. Um, even though it's serial number 412. You see, focus. I ordered this guitar and talked with Peter and Joe about building it. Uh, they sent me pictures of it being built along the way. And <clears throat> when it was finished, I was actually in the area. They're in Maryland. And I was actually in the area at the time. So I went out and picked it up and had lunch with Peter and Joe and kind of hung around the shop for the day and just just chilled out and rapped with those guys. And even to a relative unknown player like myself, those guys are so accommodating. And they build guitars for like Steve Stevens and he's got a flagship model or a signature model from them. But their customers are their customers regardless of what their name is. And that's how they always make me feel. Whenever I need something on a guitar, if I just have a question or anything like that, 
I text Peter, he texts me right back. I get a New Year's text from Peter, uh, Merry Christmas text from Peter, Happy Birthday. It's it's awesome, and these guys are just they're great dudes. And to me, I mean, obviously these qual the quality of these instruments is through the roof, and you're not going to get something like this just going to Guitar Center and, and picking it off the shelf. But to me, the relationship is what's important, and we've got a good one, and I'm, I'm incredibly grateful. So Peter and Joe, if you're watching this, thanks. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I was kind of struggling with something to make today, and I figure, why not? Two of my favorite things in the world. So thanks so much for watching, and um, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow.